Hey folks, thank you for tuning in. I'm Priyansh from Team Signos, and in this tutorial, we'll demonstrate how to instrument your fast API application with Open Telemetry and uh, Signos. So, in order to do that, we'll use a sample fast API application and instrument the sample app with Open Telemetry libraries. Uh, if you don't know about it, Open Telemetry enables you to generate telemetry data like logs, metrics, and traces from your application. You then need a backend to send the collected telemetry data. So in this tutorial, we will use Signos and open source APM, a tool built to support open telemetry natively. So let's get started. So for the purpose of this video, we'll use uh, this blog post monitoring your uh, fast API application with open telemetry. You can read uh, what is fast API and all other things. And let me clear you about the agenda of this video. Uh, basically, we are going to do four things. First is install Signos and then clone the sample fast API app. And then we'll instrument the app with open telemetry and then set the open telemetry exporter endpoint to a specified port of the machine where Signos is installed and uh, so that open telemetry can send data to it. And then finally, we'll use Signos dashboards to analyze metrics and traces. And for the purpose of this video, we'll uh, install Signos locally on this machine. I'm using uh, M1 MacBook Air, by the way. So yeah, let's get started with installing Signos. Easy steps. Just go in here. Let me open it. My uh, as you can see, I have Signos demo directory already created in my desktop. Let me clone it here, and yeah, it's a simple, easy step. It's starting Docker, pulling latest images. Let me show you uh, the Docker app that is just opened up. Yeah. Yeah, this is a Docker app and currently it's pulling. Yeah, creating these containers. All right, there you go. The signal is uh, in. <clears throat> <clears throat> All right, the installation is complete. The front end is running at 3301. Let me uh, share my email here real quick at signals.io. And yeah, let's, let's show you the front, how the front end UI looks. So, this, okay, this is the login screen that you will first see. And uh, Signos provides role-based access control features. So you can create an account with admin access and then invite your team members to collaborate. So since I have my login credentials, I'll just log in. You can create an account if you are the admin. All right, this is the first screen that you will see on the dashboard. So yeah, the application that uh, lists down in the dashboard is from sample app called Hot ROD that comes bundled with Signos installation uh, package. Let's go back and follow the blog. So now let's implement a fast API application with open telemetry. So you need Python 3.6 or newer, and uh, we'll be using the fast API app at this GitHub repo. We have already made one for you. So links will be in the description. This is the repository. And uh, yeah, let's go and clone it from here. Yeah, I just need to exit one of the Python environment I just created before shooting this video. So let's create another one. Okay, we created a virtual environment for uh, this Python fast API installation. And then we need to activate it. So for that, uh, this is the command. And yeah, you'll see a my Python uh, kind of prefix there. And let's follow the blog. Okay, now let's uh, run the inst instructions for sending data to Signos. So for that, we need to install some dependencies. Yeah. 
All right, this is done. Now we need to install application specific packages like this command figures out which instrumentation packages the user might want to install and installs it for them. So let me copy it here and run here. If you're running this for the first time, you might not see requirement already satisfied. Let's uh, now configure the environment variables to run the app and send data to Cygnos. So you need to set the service name, then hotel exporter or OTLP endpoint. And uh, this is the IP of the machine where Cygnos is installed. So these things will make it more clear. Your service name will go here and IP of Cygnos will go here. If uh, we are uh, using Cygnos localhost, so the final command will look like this. And yeah, you just need to run the application. Copy it from here. And uh, back a bit. And yeah, it will be good if you put app in here to make sure there are no errors. App just app is just the directory name. Okay, it seems like we are running on post uh, port five two five zero zero two, and yeah, this is just just a simple dummy app. Hello world, I'm just hitting the endpoint several times. Yeah, just refreshing the page so we get some dummy data to observe on the Signos dashboard. All right, yeah, just refresh and you will see your service name over here, fast app API. And yeah, and yeah, we have some data, little data to make sense of, and we have just one endpoint. So let's just click over here and uh, we are on the traces step right now. You can also sort by some operations if you have more endpoints to look at and functions, some duration, kind of good filters by operation by http url and let me just click on one of the traces and yeah this trace has three spans and uh, click on one span and you will see the tags associated with it the sdk name uh, the sdk version the service name etc and events we currently do not have any events with this span and yeah this is the flame graph and gain chart view to know better on how signals will look like if you have more data just go on any dummy app like the front end one uh, any of the endpoints, go to any trace. And yeah, this trace has 50 spans and uh, the red ones are actually the error spans. So this is error span. We'll go in on events and you can see this is a Redis timeout error. So yeah, this is the power of Cygnos. You can view, drill down on the specific error in which trace, which span is causing the error. So I think that's all for this video from my side. And uh, if you have any questions about Signals, definitely reach out to us on our Slack channel, a place where we discuss things around open source, observability, and APM. Links to everything will be in the description below. Looking forward to, so, to your feedback on how we can make Signals better. And with that, I'll see you in the next one. Goodbye.